Okay, question nine. Um, the diagram shows a prism, and it's not drawn accurately, and we're asked to work out the volume of, of the prism. Now, if you look at the front of your exam booklet, it does give the formula for volume of a prism, if you couldn't remember off the top of your head, and it's essentially, it's the area of the cross section, which will be this front face, multiplied by its depth, how far back it goes. Okay, so the area of the front face multiplied by how far back it goes, the depth. So let's work out the area of the cross section or the area of this front face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this into um, two different shapes. So I've got, we've got a rectangle here, uh, the blue rectangle, if you will, and then we'll have the red uh, rectangle here. So the area of this blue rectangle is going to be 9 times 2. 9 times 2. 9 times 2 is 18. So it's 18 centimeters squared. That's the area of that part. The red rectangle, well, that's 4. Now, I need I need how high it is, or this length here. I want to work this out. It, I know this part is 7, and that part is 2, which means this part must be 5 centimeters. Okay, so it's 4 times 5, 20 centimeters squared. Okay, so the area of the cross section area of cross section equals 20 plus 18 20 centimeters squared plus 18 centimeters squared which is going to give me 38 centimeters squared which means the volume is going to equal the area of that cross section, which is 38, 38 centimeters squared, multiplied by its depth. It goes back 10 centimeters, multiplied by 10 centimeters. Uh, 38 times 10 is 380, and centimeters squared times centimeters is centimeters cubed. In other words, we know that volume should be in uh, cubic units. Okay.